So, welcome back to Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Last time, we defeated Eagle for actually the final time. It was pretty tough, though. But now, we're at the very end of Green Earth territory. As I said last time, Eagle's about to talk to Drake about what happened. And this is not going to end well. Sonia, pleased. Believe me, I fought Andy myself, and there's no way he could have pulled that off. Really? Oh yes, that's not suspicious in any way, shape, or form, especially what she did last time. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I wouldn't trust her either. I'm sure it's safe. I mean, you know, the last time someone followed Sonya uh, into the middle of nowhere, she ambushed them just to test their prowess. <laughs> I like the idea of getting a closer look at that orange star at RV anyway, and killing all of their units again! Oh, there he's making air puns, not nautical puns. But yes, the next mission is Battle Mystery. Sammy, Max, or Andy. Now, I believe all... Th okay, no, the Max version's pretty straightforward. The Andy and the Sammy versions of Battle Mystery are quite unique in terms of their objective. Some of the more unique maps in the whole game. Yeah, Andy has to find a hidden lander. Max just has to fight. And Sammy... Yeah, she has to protect some of her troops. This late in, on this route, this is going to be our first defend mission of the entire game. If you took the Andy route in Max Strikes, you would actually get your first defend mission way earlier. Now, the thing about defend missions that I might as well say here, you are guaranteed a perfect speed score, because they're designed to be waited out for the time limit. Now, some of them are possible to complete earlier, maybe this one. This actually means that these missions on hard mode are kind of silly, because uh, it means that you are guaranteed a perfect S rank as long as you win. That's why I didn't like hard mode in the originals not ranking you on power and technique, and that's why I hope it's changed here, because yeah, you always get a perfect S rank on those missions, as long as you win. In the original on hard mode, which sucks, so yeah. So a recon force, not a recon with a capital R, an actual reconnaissance force, we said into Green Earth has been ambushed. Understood. And we need to pull a rescue mission, because Drake is, I swear, Drake must have some kind of weird bloodthirst, like, some kind of strange bloodlust disorder that just kicks in when he's on the battlefield that just forces him to kill things, even when he has no logical reason to. Yeah. Good luck. If this inventory dies, we instantly lose. However, we need if we protect it for eight days, we win. So, normally, you would, uh, like, the main strategy for this is to load this infantry in a transport copter and load that transport copter in a cruiser. The AI in the original game was too dumb to think that you could load things in cruisers, so it wouldn't actively pursue the cruiser, and then you'd usually just win. But. But. I'm going to try something incredibly silly, and if it works, I'm going to laugh so much. This is the speedrun strategy for this map in the original GBA game. Step 1. This infantry goes as far north as it can. Step 2. These mechs jump in these transports. This one goes here and unloads the mech on this city, while this one goes here and unloads this mech on the road. Now, the speedrun ends its turn now, but I want to do some extra things at C, just to try and secure a perfect power score. So in that vein, I'm going to weaken this sub. I'm going to put this rocket... Yeah, I think I will, I'll move this lander back. The troops on the shore aren't really going to be doing a whole lot for me. I'm going to put this rocket here. This battleship is going to go... here. And this sub needs to die. There is a battleship, I think it's like around here. And I'm gonna have my second cruiser in the area just to take out some subs later when I need to.
anti-air and medium tech units on the ground, a cruiser to prevent escape by transport copter. All right, everything seems to be ship shape. There'll be no escaping that unit. Its blood will stain the soil of Great Earth because I'm just trying to give Eagle cover and I totally am the hero in all this. And I'm, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to slaughter as many Orange Star troops as I can. But not this one, because this one always survives with 1 HP, weirdly enough. I think this is proof that um, luck damage is always fixed for the first few turns of campaign missions in Advance Wars 1, just like it was in the original. So yeah, this guy dies now, but then... The medium tank moves in. Now this is the only thing the AI does that's different from the speedrun. In the speedrun it attacked the northern transport copter. But it doesn't really matter. As long as that transport copter on the left survived, I'm pretty much fine. Okay, this thing takes a little bit of chip damage on my battleship right now. However, it just put itself in range of a rocket. And... That sub was just very dumb but it doesn't realize that it's been very dumb yet because I can scout it with my mech. So if I can get my cruisers onto that sub now, which does require me to kill this one, but again, my battleship was so tempting of a target that this thing forgot to dive, which is good. So now I can kill that. And then I can smash this with my cruisers. Now this is gonna give Drake his power, but, but actually I'm totally fine with that. If he gets his power, my strategy is still going to work. And as long as I weaken this battleship a little bit, my cruisers nor this battleship should die. And I do need to get this sub away so that the other cruisers don't gang up on it. I may even end up retreating the sub, honestly. Because if it's just cruisers and a, and a weakened battleship in this area, uh, my battleship's not really all that threatened. And I could go for an attack here, but then he will see the sub, and then he'll be able to get both cruisers on it. So, yeah, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to have this sub retreat for now. And then, yeah, I think I will hang back at this point, because step two of the speedrun strat, this infantry, and it has to be this infantry, gets into this transport, and this transport goes like this. Make sure the movement arrow looks like this, because if it goes like through the road, it's gonna get trapped. So movement arrow looks like this. This transport flies down and drops this infantry in that forest. And now, I am so sorry to everything up here, but I have to end my turn. Prepare to be washed away. I'm not too worried about this power, because due to certain things, the strategy is still going to work. The speedrun ignores the battle at sea so as to not give Drake his power, probably because him using his power wastes time. Even in the original, there's no way to skip the power animations. But, uh, okay. This missile is going to explode this transport copter. But, I'm fine. It has served its purpose. Speaking of serving your purpose, though... Uh, yeah, his battleship is gonna whack my battleship, but not sink it, thankfully. This transport copter is gonna heroically sacrifice itself. This battle copter is gonna heroically sacrifice itself. And battle copter number three is gonna heroically sacrifice itself. And this mech is only gonna heroically sacrifice itself next turn, not this turn. Because it's gonna live here. But we are going to take one more turn to finish this, so this mech sadly will die. And he can't see my infantry in the forest, even in the original where the AI cheated with vision. So, do you see what my strategy is now? Now it's my turn. This is the speedrun strat for Sammy Battle Mystery. Instead of retreating with the infantry that you're supposed to protect, you march it up to Drake's HQ and capture it. When I first saw this in, uh, in the speedrun that I was watching, I laughed for minutes on end. 
This is the most hilarious way I have ever seen an Advance Wars mission beaten. I just cannot believe that this level of ridiculousness is even possible. But yeah, it is. And now, I just want to conserve the rest of my units, because as long as nothing else dies... So yeah, this sub is gonna run away and never return. But hopefully it will, you know, not actually never return in the sense that it will die, or never return in the sense that it won't be returning to, uh harass Drake's units anytime soon, and yeah, everything else here, I'm totally set, as long as this rocket doesn't die, like, I'm completely fine, because I win next turn. He has nothing that can stop this HQ capture. Now, I'm assuming this strategy doesn't work on hard mode, I forget exactly what he has in the vicinity of the HQ on hard mode, but I have a feeling that it's not going to, um, that it's not going to allow this, this same thing to work, but still. Like, with, with how dumb the entire Drake arc has been, with how much he's just been killing our soldiers for no reason, beating him with the ultimate in stupidity, I think, is just the perfect way to end this. So, I'm so happy that the speedrun strat actually works uh, in Reboot Camp. That was, like, all I was hoping for. I was, like, when I was in the lead-up to the remake, I was like, oh, when the remake comes out, I really hope I can actually show off the speedrun strat. Because, yeah. It's over. It's all over. The guys who were supposed to run... <laughs> instead, captured the HQ. Marooned again! It's almost as if trying to slaughter this, these people's armies make them attack me! Would you please explain why you've been attacking us? And this better be good! Sonya and Grid have been trying to lure him out of hiding, yeah. But they've been doing it without killing us! Did you ever stop to think about that? Wait a second. We needed a diversion to draw his attention away from her. So I instead slaughtered a whole bunch of your troops. <laughs> Just... Could it, like, I kind of get what they were trying to do here, I understand it, but couldn't he have just staged a stalemate or something? Like, really, there had to have been a better way. <laughs> I'm not usually one to ask for favors, especially from those who I just slaughtered. But of course, Andy is all too happy to oblige, because Andy. And suddenly, mission over. So, that's the reason for all this. I like how Sammy sounds really annoyed at that. But yeah, obviously nowhere near perfect technique, but it still gives you an S rank, and because of that, I'm gonna take this. Completing this mission in the most stupid way possible is a fitting end for Drake's <laughs> war against Orange Star. And obviously that strategy is not mine. I have to give full credit to Alastair Grant, the, as of recording this video, current world record holder for Advance Wars 1 on Game Boy Advance. I will be linking the full speedrun in uh, an annotation, well, card, stupid annotations being gone, and the description. Definitely go and watch that, I recommend it. It is, it's really cool to see how a game like this gets speedrun. It's quite different to a Fire Emblem speedrun as well. It's only 44 minutes for the entire Advance Wars 1 campaign as well. Uh, not all of the speedrun strats result in S ranks. The one for Wings of Victory tends to get a lot of guys slaughtered just to get something to the HQ. But I love the fact that you still S rank this one with the speedrun strat, provided that you actually make an effort to battle at sea. Also, after that... <laughs> yep! We're unlocking Drake, and Hachi is already tired of his nautical puns, and of him. Set course to Hachi's- yeah, I, I do kinda like that it's different for every character, but uh... Yeah, we now have Drake of Green Earth. He's actually a pretty solid character. Like, I've watched some uh, Advance Wars by web replays, and good Drake players are actually really scary, even in maps with no water at all. 
By far the stupidest arc of this game is finally over. And next time, we get to a mission that I've been looking forward to for a long time, because it has my favourite change in Reboot Camp that I know of. See you all then.